Hi, this is Matt, Woman 708 Paul here. And this is part two. This will be Blu-rays and DVDs. I'm going to start with... And my those... brother made a mistake. It's going to be a two-parter. Yeah, it's going to be a two-parter. I was going to do three, but that's no reason to do three. But this is part two. And this is all the stuff that I got uh, for the past, I would say, month and a half. Up to today and last week. First being the... The Dark Knight Trilogy on Blu-ray. This is, uh, I believe, five discs. I only bought this because I didn't have all the uh, movies on Blu-ray yet, so I figured I'd get it. And that's Dark Knight. The packaging is decent on that, but eh, I don't know. All right, next is a movie I got today, and that's Ted on Blu-ray. Hopefully this is good. I heard good things, but I wanted to try it out. And that's Ted. Ted. Next is a blind buy that I got today. It came out today, I believe, or last week, and that's Creep Fan. Hopefully this is good. I really don't have a lot of hopes in this movie, I have to say. But $10, I figured I'd get it. That's Creep Van. Next is a film I got about two weeks ago, and that's Lawless. I haven't watched this yet. Lawless. Next is a underrated sequel. I like this a lot more than Crank 2, but that's just me, and that's uh, Transporter 2. Transporter 2. Next is a movie I got last week. And that's uh, The Day. Hopefully this is good. I have some hopes in it. Not a ton, but some. Let's be getting okay reviews. And that's The Day. Next is a movie that I got on Amazon. Paid a little bit for it, but... It was like 20 bucks, and that's uh, the Day Live Screen Factory Collector's Edition. was kind of a little disappointed that this wasn't a DVD Blu-ray combo, but whatever. And that's Day Live. Next is a Black Friday pickup, and that's X-Men on Blu-ray. I'm still a little iffy on this because I don't know if it's all the, the special features of the two-disc DVD, but... I figured I'd just get it on Blu-ray. I think I paid $3.96 for this on Black Friday. Next is Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I was surprised with this movie, but I can't say that I would really put it in my top 10 of 2012. It would probably be more like a top 20 or top 25, but this wasn't bad. It was decent for what it was. I, didn't, I didn't really didn't get all the bad reviews for this. When it first came out, but this wasn't bad. It was uh, pr pretty decent, and that's Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Next is another Black Friday pickup, and that's X2, X-Men United, Blu-ray. Hopefully, the uh, all the features are transported over from the DVD, the two-disc DVD, but eh. It's Blu-ray. only paid $3.96 for it, and that's X-Men. Two. Next is a movie that I got back in October. I don't know if I showed this yet. I don't think I did. And that's uh, Pet Cemetery on Blu-ray. Heard good things. Never got the uh, the DVD collector's edition back when it came out. And it's pretty much got all the features of that. So I figured picture did pretty decent. So I get it. And that's Pet Cemetery. Don't really care about the sequel. I heard bad things. Next is a five dollar pickup at um, Best Buy, and that's the principal. Heard good things, so I figured I'd get it. And that's the principal. These two were blind buys. I think I got these back in October, I believe. First is Jim Caviezel in Transit. 
I haven't opened these yet, but that's transit. Got this for seven fifty. Next is El Gringo with Scott Atkins and Christian Slater. I heard it's kind of like Get the Gringo, ripping that movie off with with Mel Gibson. But that's uh, El El Gringo. I heard okay things about this. That's El Gringo. Now I'm not like bashing anybody that likes Expendables, but I think Scott Adkins should have got a casting in that in the Expendables. In my opinion, I think Scott Adkins would be a better fit than that Lean Hemsworth, but that's just me. Next is a Fiala pickup because I only I don't I could say after repeated viewings that I'm not really a big I'm not really a big fan of the of the uh, the director's cut, but I I have you know I kind of like the theatrical cut, and that's Halloween with Robs. I got this back on. It was in the fire album. It was left over from the hall when they had Halloween stuff left over. I got this for five. This isn't bad, I guess. Next is a pickup that I got from. I believe it was. Got this at Target for five dollars. It was back when they when they had that Halloween display and that Shaun of the Dead. Really wanted to watch this again. And that's Shaun of the Dead. Next is a blind buy. I only got this for seven back on back when they did the upgrade and save at Best Buy, and that's gone in 60 seconds, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I don't know. Now looking back on this, I really should have waited on this, but whatever. Gone 60 seconds. Next is a movie that I was really wanting to see. I haven't seen it yet, but I did like Little Miss Sunshine that the producers did. And that's satisfactory, not guaranteed. There really was no reason to get this on Blu-ray, because you pretty much got everything that the Blu-ray has. And this was... Not really a movie I really needed on Blu-ray, so I got it on DVD. And that's satisfactory, not guaranteed. Next is a next is a Black Friday pickup, and that's the hangover. Another Black Friday pickup, and that's uh Get the Gringo. I haven't watched this yet. I have to watch it one night. And that's Get the Gringo. Next is a Amazon pickup, and that's We Own the Night. I have okay things on this. And it could be alright, but that's We Own the Night. Next is a $5 purchase on, I believe I got it on a Amazon, I think. And that's the Rainmaker with Matt Damon. I have okay things on this. It should be decent. And that's the Rainmaker. And I kind of like that courtroom feel. Even though I should give that Al Pacino one another watch it, the, and Justice for All, but this one should be good. The Rainmaker. Next is Expendables 2. I haven't watched this yet. That's Expendables 2. Next, I got this back. I think I got this at Best Buy. The Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure Blu-ray. From what I've seen of it, it has good picture. Um, but if you get this, don't get don't panic like I did. Because you gotta hit down on the remote and that's the menu. It's on the bottom. But that's Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure. Give the picture on this about a three, three and a half. Good, could be better, but that's Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure. Next is a movie that was on sale. 
I like this movie, but I like this movie, but it's not Quentin Tarantino's best, but I had to get it. It's Glorious Bastards. Next of Quentin Tarantino, I would like to get the the Kill Bill movies, and then it's pretty much it. Then I pretty much get the Grindhouse set. Other than that, that's Glorious Bastards. I have hopes in his new film, but eh. It definitely kind of has the same film feel as this, if you see the trail. Next is a great movie, that's Drive. I got this on sale at Best Buy a while back. I think it was like 10 bucks. Drive. Next is a Blind Buy, which, I don't know. Wanted to see it anyway, and... And that's Savages. Could be uh, a decent watch. Next is a really good zombie film. And that's Dead Snow. Dead Snow. Next is... I didn't get the Steel Book back when it came out. But um, I kind of just... Wanted the movie separately, so I got Scarface. Next is the new Wes Anderson, and that's Moonrise Kingdom. This should be a good watch. Next is a Black Friday purchase, a three-pack of Cyborg, Death Warren, and Double Impact, and that's uh, it's a three-disc set too, which is really good. I got think I got this for four or five dollars on Black Friday. Good deal. I kind of wish it had Lionheart on it, but whatever. But that's the three pack. These next three are mixer mixtures of Amazon and Black Friday. First is thirty minutes or less. Amazon purchase the international. I heard good things on the Blu-ray, but I figured since I actually haven't seen it, I figured I'd just get it on DVD. And that's the international. Another Black Friday purchase. Well, I would like to have gotten this on Blu-ray, but what can you do? And that's Paul, unrated. And these last four movies are, like with the last batch, he's a mixer of Black Friday and um, Black Friday and Amazon. So here's uh, Fight Club. Poseidon Adventure, Amazon. Um, I was kind of pissed though because I went to at Walmart today and they had this on DVD, the two disc for five bucks. But whatever, it's the Blu-ray. It's got all the same features as the as the two disc, and that's Poseidon Adventure. Next is a Amazon purchase. Revinant. I, I don't understand. I think it's I think this is either a vampire or a zombie film. Heard okay things, so I figured I'd try it out. And the movie that I really wanted to watch, but I was tired the one night, and I haven't got around to watching it yet. Some of it, but not all of it, and that's FDR, American Badass. This seems like a really decent film from what I've seen so far, but I'll have to watch it again. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a couple of movies that I've seen the past, like, week. One movie I saw was Overnight Delivery with Paul Rudd. Good movie. I recommend that one. Maximum Conviction. Decent. Fire with Fire. It was okay. Um, Aberration. Sucked. Don't even watch it. Stolen with Nicolas Cage. Decent watch, but Seeking Justice was better. But if people are interested in that one, I would say rent it at the Red Box. Oh yeah, 15 minutes. And and uh, I have to go because the time's running out. But this is Matt with 78 Paul here, and I'll be back maybe Christmas Eve with another update or New Year's. Thank you. See you later. Bye.